Nick, could you tell us a little bit about Snap and what you do? Sure. Uh, Snap Interactive is the parent company of AYI, which is our primary product. Um, it is a social dating application. We have 20 million plus uh, Facebook connected profiles. So we have a lot of volume and a lot of users. Splunk lets you dive into that data. It can be as big as you want and you get really good performance um, comparatively out of it. So we brought it in to monitor our continuous deployment operation mm -hmm. and to help us solve some email deliverability problems that we're having. How has Splunk changed the way you develop that now? It's an interesting question. I would say that it's in many ways revolutionized it because every single developer and product person throughout the organization uses Splunk on a daily basis. It's given us insights into our data that we never pre that previously was just impossible. Um, yes, we were able to develop a lot of custom tools to give us this information, but it required dev time and was relatively specific and difficult to modify. Um, but helping us monitor our continuous deployment operations and be, uh, you know, now to turn, the turnaround time when we introduce an error on the site has dramatically dropped because we know about it much faster and there's a lot more people looking at that data and they have the visualization tools to see when things go wrong instead of, um, you know, actually having to use the product. I'm here with people from Prealerts um, to talk about how they're building stuff on top of Spawn. I'm Steve Dodson, I'm CTO, CTO of Preload, uh, and I'm founder as well. I'm Kevin Conklin, I'm the VP of Marketing. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about how you moved from your, your work custom UI to Spawn? Why we strategically decided to choose them is they enable developers uh, to develop apps which actually embed functionality natively on their, on their, on their Google. The great thing about the new web framework and, and version 6 of Splunk is that the developers can embed components such as our proprietary uh, bubble chart directly into the app, but they can use the tools they're familiar with. They don't need to learn a new set of uh, languages, a new set of you know, ways of dealing with things, all the quirks that come about. That. You know, if they're familiar with JavaScript, they can embed JavaScript in the, in the new web framework in the same way that they could in our, in a, in our old proprietary Google. It seems like your developers are going into much more of a polyglot approach where they're using the best language for the best case. You've got JavaScript, you've got Java, you've got um, Python with Django, yeah. and that seems to be the best approach for you. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's using the technologies they're familiar with and, you know, doing that in industry standard ways. We've actually got a, a new user interface developer, and he's actually been working on the Splunk 6 stuff, and we spent... Uh, about 12 to 18 months developing the, our initial app and uh, he's been on board three months and with that he's actually ported the, uh, the old app to the new Django framework and the new web framework. I'm here today with uh, Ashish Switiani. Switiani from Function One. Function One is a consulting company. We're a Splunk partner, we've been a partner for about four years. And uh, we kind of deal with full life cycle implementations on the Splunk side. Now we have the, um, the web framework, uh, we have a lot of the SDKs, so we, we're able to kind of treat dashboard development on the Splunk side almost as if it's a, a web development project. The SDKs are, are really easy to use, they're well documented, um, even, even before they were GA they were, they were well documented um, and getting support from people at Splunk is Pretty, pretty good. They're they're really happy for people to use it, and so even if you're not paying it. for services, you can still get some support. Oh yeah, definitely okay. from the from the developers who, who wrote the SDK. It's it's uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. And now it's going to be a little bit different. From will be us scoping projects a little bit differently. It'll just you know it's, it's going to be a change for customers, partners, everybody involved in the ecosystem. But it'll be a it's a good change and it's a needed change. But it's a change. I'm Donnie Burkle with Redbox and Ashish Bhatiani Function One. Thanks. All right, thanks for listening. Cheers. Cheers. All right.